guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial on MAC's uh, lipstick called Snob. I recently bought it, it looks like this. Um, it's a very beautiful lavender blue toned pink um, and it is a satin finish so it's um, not as dry as a matte but definitely um, is on the drier side. Um, it's a very difficult lipstick to pull off I feel for my skin tone because I have to sort of work with the rest of my face to actually bring out the lavender in the lips. So um, if you can see that I've got it on now, but I've teamed it up with um, Max Saw Lip Liner, which has helped it be a little bit more wearable. So um, if you like this look, keep watching. Um, and I have done a blue, I guess, uh, smoky type of an eye um, to complement the uh, blue uh, t blue tone lipstick uh, called Snob. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't subscribed, just hit the subscribe button below and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off with uh, MW101 in Inglot. It's an AMC foundation. Just pop some on your hand, pop it uh, all over your face, rub it in. I like to use my fingers because I feel that um, it just helps the foundation smooth into the skin. Now that we've done that, we're going to be using Max Paint Pot in Blackground. This is an eyeshadow base. It's a black colour and it's going to help with the uh, smokiness to the eye. So just use your fingertips there like I am and rub it in to the eye. Okay, so I've done both eyes now and you can see that uh, they've been um, based with the eye primer there. Now we're going to be using um, my uh, MAC eyeshadow. It's a midnight blue colour. Use the MAC 217 brush and basically we're just shading in the end part of the eye near the crease. Bring up the colour to soften the black and as you can see I've sort of just done an inverted 7 and slowly back forth motions bring that midnight blue colour in. I'm sorry, I'm not sure I remember what it's called because I've depotted all the um, eyeshadows, but it is a midnight blue type of a colour. Using MAC 231 brush, I'm using a uh, silver colour in the middle. It's called Silver Ring by MAC. And we're patting that in the middle to lighten up the eye. So I've completed uh, both eyes. Now I'm going to be using MAC Carbon using a bullet brush and slightly. Um, filling in the end of the crease to give it more dimension. I'm getting a bit of fallout there but don't worry about that, we can cover that with concealer. And we're using that black carbon colour and bringing it slightly up. So it's given a bit more dimension to the eye. Again dot some more on the other eye and bring it slightly up in a smaller inverted 7. And use the MAC 217 blending brush and blend that colour in. Now I'm using um, the Sephora Jumbo Eye Pencil uh, in the colour black and slightly drawing um, on the top of my eye for eyeliner. You can use a gel eyeliner but I'm going to be using a thicker uh, eyeliner and then smudging it to get a uh, more softer smoky look. Now we're going to be lining the waterline. Don't worry if it looks messy, we're going to be smudging this out. Using a smudger brush, I'm going to smudge and slightly soften that black eyeliner. So I've done both eyes, I'm going to be softening the top bit as well, just to help it blend in with the rest of the eyeshadows. Next I'm going to be using Max Haughty and Naughty Mascara and going to be applying that to my eyelashes. So just use zigzag motions. And apply that mascara. Next I'm going to be using the Dior Adhesive Glue. What I like to do is just pop, pop it on a, a foundation rather than my hand and that's the eyelashes that I'm going to be using. We can always clean the foundation later on 
use a tweezer and slightly um, place the glue on. I've actually cut, it, cut these on lashes um, smaller because they were a bit too big for me. So I'm applying these very close to the lash line with tweezers. Don't worry about the glue because the glue is going to be um, drying clear and we can always line the eyes again with the black. So you might have to wait a couple of minutes. Now that the both eyes are done, the eyelashes are set, um, we are going to now be doing our eyebrows. So just comb the eyebrows out. If you have an eyebrow comb, I'm being lazy and I'm just using a Maybelline um, eyebrow pencil to fill in the eyebrows. And this will just darken my eyebrows slightly. Okay, the eyebrows are done. Now I'm going to be using uh, Max Pearl Cream Color Base in Pearl and just highlighting the brow bone. Just using my fingertips there and slightly highlight the brow bone. And that's the eyes done. Now I'm going to be using a the MAC bronzer and contouring the, my face using a fan brush. Just slightly bring up the blusher up towards the temple of your um, cheeks and you might need to suck sort of your face in the way I'm doing to see where the jawline or the brow, sorry the cheekbone is and uh, bring that up there using Max Dainty Now blush. It's a mineralized blush, it has slight glitter in it but I like it, it's a nice pink colour um, and just apply it to the apples of your cheeks with a um, brush. Now I'm going to be using uh, Max Concealer in NW30 to conceal under my eyes and that helps with any sort of fallout that I got as well whilst using all that eye makeup. Just dot it and blend it in with your fingers. It gets basically rid of any circles or redness and darkness under the eyes. Okay, now that we've done the eyes, we're going to be using Max Lip Pencil in Saw. And we're going to be lining the lips to help the Max Snob lip Lipstick look a little bit more um, wearable. So, just lining the lips now. Bringing it slightly in as well. And using Max Snob Lipstick. Beautiful lavender lipstick. And slightly patting that lipstick on to start off with the base and now sliding it on to add more color and dimension to the lips so it's quite a light color um, so we are going to be now lining with Max Saw lip pencil again to soften it again And there you have it. That's the final look. Hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching.